Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Hey everyone, Sue here from 1A Auto, and today on our 03 Volvo V70, I'm going to show you how to remove the center console. If you need any parts for your car, click on the link below and head on over to 1AAuto.com. I'm going to pull up on the e-brake lever all the way up. I'm going to put the key in the gear. I've turned it on so I can select the gear of neutral, and then turn the key off to stop. stop the key dinging noise and to shut the dome lights off I just take a screwdriver and I'm gonna latch this um, two, two notches in. Instantly the key stops dinging and the lights will go out once I do the passenger door also. Okay. Now with a body trim tool I'm just gonna pull up on this this is called a pen holder I'm just gonna remove this piece Set that aside. I'm going to lift up the center console armrest and take the rubber pad out, the mat on the bottom. And there's two exposed mounting bolts, and that's a T25. Take those right out. I'm going to go ahead and take the two front ones out behind that pin holder also. So all four are a T25 Torx bit. Now with a flathead screwdriver, I'm going to take off the side trim piece on the driver's side and then do the same on the passenger. You just put the flathead screwdriver in that plastic keyway and turn it and it should be ready to pop forward. And then you take this and slide the whole console piece backwards. See the hooks? So the hooks are facing forward, just slide it back. And repeat the same thing on the passenger side. So now I'm going to remove this gear shifter selector and there's two tabs right here. I'm going to pull on those and lift up on it. So when you get to this point, that you take the, be able to take the console out, you got to get this out of the way. And there's four, see the little points right here? There's one there. There's four of them in each, in each corner. trim piece out of there. Now there's enough room to lift this up. So we have to take the shifter, the e-brake lever plastic off. I'm just going to use the trim tool. You can slide that all the way up. So I'm now in the back seat accessing because I have to disconnect the adapter connector to pull the housing, the console up. So there's a door here with a plastic trim piece. I'll just pull that one off. Let's see if we can physically get our hand up in here and disconnect the adapter. You can see it connected. You can see it right here. It's a gray adapter right there. Let's see if we can slide it forward. Bring it down. So once you can expose the connector, pull it down enough to see it, you'll see the clip. Push in on that clip and separate the two pieces. So now we can lift the console up. I'm going to put the shifter back actually into one of the gears so I have more room in the front. I'm taking the e-brake panel aside so we have to, we have to kind of like guide that through. So I'll lift the front up and then I'm going to squeeze this panel out and through. And there's the center console. So we're going to put the console back in and I'm going to guide that down this way 
and put the e-brake handle through. Don't forget to guide the casing, the plastic casing through. Just take a good look around. I'm gonna line up, I'm gonna line up the front here. So now I'm gonna reconnect my electrical part in the back, connect it, and I'm gonna put this tab in on this piece right in there. It locked right down in. Reinstall this plate. The ears go down below here on these tabs. Now we can slide these clips in. That is for another vehicle with a different style rear seat. It also holds the carpet down. So now I'm going to place this center console in these cutout slots. Pretty easy. Slides right down in. Make sure everything's out of its way. Looks good. I'm going to check the back mounting bolts and they line right up. So I'm going to install those first. And that's the T25. Install our rubber mat. And we are done back here. Let's move up to the front. We've got those two mounting bolts. Same size, T25. Okay, now let's install our shifter trim. So it goes in that angle. And this plot, remember this piece just popped right up in there. Let's guide it over it and just snap it in. Everything's still connected wire-wise. I never took it apart. We'll just slide it right down, clicks into place. Pretty simple piece, it's got the little clips here. Make sure the rubber piece is facing upward so the pen can slide down in. Line it up and just snap it in. I'm going to put the side panel on. As you can see, it's got ears that face forward. Put them in the slot and just going to slide it forward. Then we have the lock in the back. Take a flathead screwdriver and turn this right here and lock it in. And repeat that on the other side. So now we're just going to guide this plastic three ears pieces into those slots. And there's two, three on this side also. Once you line them all up, pretty much just clicks down. And you're ready to go. Release the e-brake lever and it's in place. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.